this is Dr. Debbie Javier. If you are new in this channel, please do not forget to click the subscribe button and of course, the notif button or the bell button for you to be notified every time I have a new video. Okay, so this is now another series of tips in writing a research paper. So this is being done for me to be able to help those who are doing their research writing. Okay, so again, this is a request. Sana makatulong sa mga nag-research. In this video, I will be sharing some tips in constructing the research instrument. Question, why? Bakit research instrument right away? Because after writing the statement of the problem, which was the previous video, you should be able to make already the research instrument. So actually, this is my style in teaching. After asking my students to construct or formulate the statement of the problem, right away, I ask them to do a research instrument, to work on the research instrument. Why? Why do we need to proceed right away with the research instrument? Because... The basis in constructing the research instrument is your statement of the problem. So you should be able to do matching. You should be able to match which instrument will be able to answer questions in your SOP. Okay? Because there are the other parts can be done while you are already gathering your data. So that's a tip. And this is a very good tip. So first question. What are the basic types of research instruments? Ano nga ba ang mga ginagamit na research instruments? So, I would just like to focus on the basic types. So, we have questionnaire, and then we also have a test. It can also be an interview or an observation and many more. We can also have a focus group discussion and other types of research instruments. But these are the basic ones. So, when you say questionnaire, that is, you need to construct and then you are going to ask your respondents to answer it. It can be online, it can be face-to-face. Uh, -face. And then, of course, you can also make use of a test if you wanted to gauge, for example, what they have learned and what they have not learned in a certain strategy or approach that you implemented in your class. You can have the pre-test and then a post-test. We can also have interview, okay? And then, uh, we can also have observation. So, the instrument that you're going to use will depend so much on your the nature of your study and then, of course, in your SOP. So, tip number one, the research instrument should be based on the SOP. So, this is very, very important, uh, my dear uh, re research writers. Okay? So your instrument, the basis, what will be your basis? So this one is uh, something which is very difficult for some writers to do. They do not know exactly what instrument to use. So what's your basis? Paano ka maghanap ng instrument para sa study mo? It should be based on your SOP. So for example, SOP number one, what will be the best instrument for you to be able to answer it? Are you going to use a questionnaire? Are you going to do an interview? Are you going to, to give a test? or you will simply do an observation. So that's the first thing. Your research instrument should be based on your SOP. So dapat na i-match mo siya. So for example, question number two, ano dapat mong gawin para masagot mo siya? So anong instrument ang gagamitin mo? So that's how you're supposed to do it. So I hope you understand. Number two, match a good instrument to answer the questions in the SOP. So dapat makita mo, which instrument is the best instrument for you to use with that particular question? So, for example, if you wanted to find out how effective is a certain strategy that you implemented, so how will you be able to check on the effectivity? Maybe you can do a test. You, have, you can give them a pre-test before you implement it, this, before you implement the strategy, and then after implementing it, after a series, uh, certain period of time, you can give a post test para makita mo if there is a difference or there are differences in terms of the performance of the students, okay? So, pre-test or post-test. Pwede po yun. You can also do uh, observation. Pwede rin yun. Number three, make sure to have your instruments be checked by your advisor and validated by an expert. Napaka-importante po nito. So, after making your instrument, ask your advisor to check it. 
So, you and your advisor should be able to match. Napaka-importante po yun so that you will not be wasting your time. Kasi pag nag-gather ka ng data and then you will not be able to answer the questions in the SOP, you'll be wasting time and money and effort. So, pa-check. Let your advisor check it. And, of course, you should also ask an expert to validate your instrument. Kung ano man yan. Pwede language expert, pwede pong content expert. Depende sa study mo. So, those are the tips that I can share in writing your or constructing your research instrument. So, number one, we have the research instrument should be based on the SOP. Number two, match a good instrument to answer the questions in your SOP. And make sure to have your instruments be checked by your advisor and validated by the experts. So, sana makatulong ito doon sa mga nagre-research. So, kung nag-iisip pa lang kayo, tingnan nyo na how will you be able to match it. We will now have the subscribers of the week. And let's now proceed with the shout out to thanks of those people who've been supporting me in my channel. Zara K. Halumange, Miriam Andalio Abuliso, Melba Pilarta, Antonia Ramos, Elsie Omida Asis, and of course my son, Daniel J. Javier, who's the one in charge in the editing of all my videos. Siya po ang nag edit ng mga videos ko. Okay, so that's it. I hope I was able to share something that will be very helpful for you in constructing your research instrument. So do not forget the tips. It's very basic, it's very, very simple, but if you are going to follow it, definitely you'll be able to learn something from it and you'll be able to make the right research instrument. Okay, so again, this is Dr. Debbie Javier telling you to always be a blessing to others. Happy research writing! See you in my next video. Bye!